later, you got one of the toughest challenges. Because <laughs> you actually have to separate brothers. Smooth, silky love. Oh. I like that. I'm going to go with So guys, we finally got a chance to jump off our 2021-22 season. We'll start with our team selection today. One of the things that's important as we see it is not always the best player, the most talented player, it's the right fit for the team. We're playing for stakes. Do the best job you can. We've tried to help as a scouting group, but ultimately the choice is yours. So as we talked about, there are pods of players we're gonna pick from. Because Ryan got the first pick in the draft, he's gonna pick the first pod and then he'll get the first selection. So Ryan, you're picking pod E. Ryan picks pod E. First pod, now first pick in the pod. My first pick in pod E is Alexander Saar. We need some rim protection, and I think he's the one that will protect the rim for all the guards who maybe get beat. I like it. Coach, what do you think about that? Alexander Saar, a big that can run, that can protect the rim, Got a great touch around the rim, so it's hard to find great bigs. So a great pick, great first pick, and kind of keep building your team from there, Ryan. Yeah. So coach, uh, I don't think he took your guy. You're up with the second pick. Well, I love scoring. That's the name of the game. So I'm going with the youngest member of our team, Jalen Lewis. He scores like we breathe. So I think he is a, a four-level scorer, so great pick. So coach Fanning, you take who's left? but a very talented Tyler Smith. Yeah, super excited to have Tyler on the squad. He's a true inside-outside guy. He can stretch the floor, play around the rim in transition, and he can shoot the ball, I think, with some of the best in our group. And I think being one of the youngest guys, he's got a high ceiling, so I'm super excited to have him on the squad. Smooth, silky left-hander. I like that. You think I made him say that? <laughs> Smooth, so, Tim, you got the last pick in the first round. The way we select the order, you are now first in the second round. You choose pot F. Tell me who your pick is. I'm gonna pick Aman Thompson. He was the first player that I met um, in the summer at the workouts when I went to go see him and his brother and Jalen. Super excited to coach this guy and have him on the court. I mean, he's got some, some plays at the rim. We think he's gonna dunk it, then he'll lay it up, then he'll dunk on somebody. I think the sky's the limit for our man, and I think we can also make him into a lead guard, too. Being 6'8", lead guard, that'll be very dynamic. <laughs> I'll take that. So the second pick that's going to Coach Gone. I'm taking John Montero. I went with size with the first pick, and then I got a bit off the roster. And John Montero, we seen what he's done in Miami when we first went down to play some exhibition games. 41 can score, so Alexander Starr set them high pick and roll. John gets to create. I think he's a great creator, and he brings a lot to OTE. And I think he got a great skill set from being a lead guard, but then he can score that basketball with the best of them. So Coach Lato, you get delivered a gift in Bryce Griggs. But I think I got a really good prize in Bryce. Uh, he's probably our best distributor from that position. His delivering of the basketball on time and on target is a great attribute, and I wish I can grow my hair like his. <laughs> <laughs> So Coach Lato, it's now your turn to pick the pod. You picked pod H. Tell me who your first pick in pod H is. A veteran move on my part will be going with uh, Sar Thompson. A, a wealth of potential, quite obviously. A freak athletically. Has a chance to be amongst the elite level defenders that I know I've seen in a long, long period of time. He had one practice, I can remember like three practices ago, where he got five offensive rebounds. Got a steal, got a dunk. So that's an outstanding pick. Coach Fanny, you got the second pick out of this pod. Talk to me. Second pick, we're gonna go with uh, Cook Yat. Uh, this is a guy that can play all over the court, multiple positions, can guard multiple positions, really has a high ceiling in terms of what he can do defensively also, and uh, super excited to have Cook on the squad. The biggest thing with Cook, and I think all y'all agree with me, he's coachable. I don't think he said one word back to us. If we tell him to run through this brick wall, he'll run through the brick wall and say, what's next, coach? We got a great talent in that kid. So Coach Gomes, you get the third person in the pod. Malik's a guy who's one of the most physical guys, uh, stature-wise, on our roster. He can shoot the ball, spread the floor, and he can post some guys up. So thank you guys for giving me that prize and Malik Bowman. Right. So 
So we got another pod up, Coach. Pod B is what you chose. I'm going to go with versatility and Bryson Warren. Oh, got a tremendous oh, stroke. Oh, really, really good competitor. Can play him on the ball as he's learning and growing how to distribute. Can certainly play him off the ball because of his stroke. Uh, but then you can play him in a three-guard lineup because he can share and he can take the ball off the dribble and create advantage basketball. Coach Fanny, you got a hard choice. We're going to go with uh, Devontae Cobbs. I think he matches up with a man in the backcourt to form a really, really tough lockdown defender. And super happy to have him on the squad. Coach, you get the last prize in the group. Talk a little bit about why you like him. I mean, Jay-Z on court, man, he can be a tremendous on-ball defender. So I think that he's like Gary Payton, the glove. You know, I think he has that fortitude about him, like I'm gonna lock you up and then I'm gonna score on top of you. Coach, we gave you a broad selection here with pod A. I don't know how I'll go for first round. Who are you going with? What's the fit for your team? Maybe number one. So I'm going with Jazia Jackson. Oh! <laughs> a mountain masquerading as a man. A left-hander, which from a size standpoint is really important. So I'm going to take on uh, Jazia for the understanding that one big guy to another, we're going to speak the same language and get a lot out of him at that post position. <laughs> to be that big and to be able to jump like that, it's a special talent for him. And he has a really soft touch. Coach Fanning, you got two strong choices. I'm going to take Ethan, I was the last pick. having spent some time in Spain, I've, I've really liked what I've seen from him. He seems like he has a really high IQ. I'm happy to have Ethan on our squad and, and bring some international flavor to the team. You got another gift, Coach Gomes, in Josh Smith. I think he's a great fit for the team that I'm building right here with my squad, and I think he's played multiple positions. Great offensive rebounder, hit spot-up shots, and he just plays with a, a fierce mentality, and I think we need that on our squad. This guy right here, he personifies level five energy. So if a ball goes out, he's dunking that thing and he's yelling. So coach, you are decided to go with pod D. This is the energy pod, I like to call it. Who's your pick? My pick in pod D will be Dominic Barlow. Did you pick Dom over the Beauty Twins? Dom, Dom. nice boy, you tripping. Dom, nice. Dom. Guards that I have and the big men that I have. He reminds me a little bit of Kyle Kuzma as well, with his energy level, offensively and defensively. Coach Lado, you got one of the toughest challenges because you actually have to separate brothers. Well, whoever I pick, I hope their family doesn't get mad at me. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go with Ryan, Ryan Bewley. He can take a perimeter play and make it into a post-up. He can take a post-up and make it into a perimeter play. I'm, I'm really, really impressed with his ability to lead our team. So you get the brother, Tim, talk about Matt. This guy fits our team perfectly. I think he's up there with the best of our offensive rebounders and just winning possessions, whether that be offensive rebounds, uh, extra efforts. And on top of that, this guy can guard one through five. Coach Lato, this is your pod. You pick pod C. Who's your pick out of this pod? LeBron, he can't play. So I'm gonna go with Jalen. The Atlanta Hawks have an embarrassment of riches with their guys off the ball. Bogdanovich, Reddish, and Hunter. You know, I, I'm not making a comparison to them yet because they're, they're established, but uh, as he continues to work really hard, you'll see him blossom within the OTE system. Coach Gomes, you, you, you have a chance to, to make a selection here. Nathan. My pick is Nathan Nasia Dio. In our training camp, he's been guarding point guards all the way to five men, as well as slashing to the rim, getting offensive rebounds. Um, I think he could be a defensive nightmare for any opposing guard, and I think he's going to be a high-level defensive player for OTE. Coach Fanning, you've got uh, LeBron Lopez. What do you like about him when you, when you scout him? He can play inside, outside, gets out in transition, got a good-looking jump shot. I think at the end of the day, this guy might be the biggest X factor in the whole program. So Coach Fanning, we have Pod G. What's a, what's a good fit for your team? I want a TJ Clark on the squad. He's a two-way player. He can play on and off the ball. He fits perfectly with our backcourt with our men. 
and uh, DC. I think TJ is a great pick, Tim, and I think he rounds your, your, your whole squad out perfectly. Coach Gomes, you got two interesting players to pick as we kind of round out our rosters. What's a good fit for you? I'm going with Tudor Samacheska. And he had a little ankle issue, but he was the first one off the bus in his uniform, ready to do some form shooting. He worked extremely hard to get back, and then when he got on the court, he showed why he has that natural uh, passing ability. He has a smart and he's knowing how to use his angles to be effective during the game. Coach Lato, you've got Emmanuel Maldonado. Tell us why you like him. One of the interesting teams in the NBA is the Dallas Mavericks. They had a guy, J.J. Barea, who really became a quiet star himself, comes off the bench, does a lot of things that help a team win. That's Emmanuel. I know he's going to help our team win. Well, I think you've done a great job putting the teams together. Uh, we're looking forward to competing. We, we are one group, with a couple of teams inside the group, but it's time to get to work now. We, we want to make these players better. I'm feeling great about my team. I think we're going to come out with the most wins. Man, I, um, I think, you know what I'm saying, watching it, I think we have a well-round team. I love my team. We're the hardest. We do great things this year. All right, we're we going to bring a lot of dubs. Nobody going to beat us. Right, that's my teammate, so he's 100% right. I think we're going to have a, a great season and be definitely the top, top dog we team. We're going to have a rebound. Here we go. Yeah, yo, I'm trying to tell you, the gear is fly. The gear is hot, the gear is it. Get to it, click the link right here while I work on my handles. Hey, ha ha.